hi dear students how are you oh, i think you are fine so today i bring you some important facts in fractions through examination paper 2018 question number one so if you are not a subscriber please subscribe my channel and then you can easily reach my videos by clicking your button on the right hand side what is that button it is bell button just click it yo now let's move for the question so this is the question i will read it for you a man intended to distribute a certain amount of money he had by giving two over five to his wife and the remaining amount equally to his three sons so already four persons they he intended to distribute however he had to give one over six portion of this amount to his brother before he distributed to distributed as intended he distributed the remaining amount as originally intended so they are asking what fraction of the initial amount that the man had did the wife receive so we have to identify each sentence i will explain you he had an intention to uh, give 2 over 5 portion to his wife from the initial amount from the amount total amount and the remaining amount equal to his three sons what is the remaining part 3 over 5 yeah however he had to give 1 over 6 of this amount to his brother so what we can do here what is the total amount then total amount is 1 1 as a fraction the uh, sum of 2 or 3 or how many fractions is 1 therefore we can take is as 1 so initially he gave 1 over 6 portion to his brother therefore we can say that initial fraction of amount he had what is he had 6 over 6 that means 1 portion is 1 the total amount is 1 so then i can understand fraction of amount he gave to his brother so what is the fraction you can hear see here so it is 1 over 6 then what is the remaining part remaining fraction of amount so i can just uh, subtract these two fractions here 6 over 6 minus 1 over 6 then it gives us what 5 over 6 that is the remaining amount on his hand after giving his brother then what fraction the initial amount that the man had did the wife receive so then what portion did his wife receive so from this amount he is going to give 2 over 5 proportion to his wife so we can calculate that one fraction of amount received to his wife it is 5 over 6 of 2 over 5 so we can easily solve it like this and it is of means multiplication so it gives us we can divide it 5 by 5 so then also we can divide 2 into 6 so 2 1 then 6 3 then it gives us 1 over 3 that is the answer so the fraction from the initial amount he had did the wife receive is 1 over 3 of the total amount so let's move for the second question the what fraction of the initial amount did he have remaining after giving his brother and his wife ah uh, you can then understand fraction of amount he gave to his brother is 1 over 6 the fraction of amount uh, gave to his wife was 1 over 3 no so remain fraction of amount is 
5 over 6 then fraction amount of to his wife is 1 over 3 then we have to reduce it now remain fraction of amount after giving his wife is 5 over 6 minus 1 over 3 then I have to similar the uh, denominator so what what I can do I can multiply 3 in by 2 and also 1 by 2 this is the fraction though so uh, denominator and numerator both have to do the same multiplication or revision or something we are going to do so both we have to do the same thing so after that I can say that 5 minus 2 because we are divide, uh, multiplying by 2 1 into 2 means 2 so it gives us 3 over 6 then we can 3 to 3 it gives us half or 1 over 2 that means after giving his brother and his wife he remained this much amount of money as a fraction so let's move for the third one the amount a son received was 40,000 rupees less than the amount he was to receive originally find the amount the man had initially the amount son received was 40,000 so what we can do here new fraction of amount son received what is that fraction it is half into 1 over 3 that means what 1 over 3 of half so it gives us this and we can say that 1 into 1 equals 1 2 into 3 equals 6 so 1 uh, son receives this much of part this much of money that means this fraction so each one this fraction means so remain fraction of amount after giving his wife it was we have calculated already 3 over 5 then fraction of amount a son was to received originally originally what is the fraction a son was received as per the original one was 3 over 5 of 1 over 3 then we can solve it here we can divide it 3 by 3 then it gives us 1 over 5 1 over 5 but actually now they have received this much so this is larger than this one no? here denominator is smaller than this one here it is 6 here it is 5 so this is the large amount or the large fraction so we can say deduction of fraction for a son one son fraction of amount a son was to received originally minus new fraction of amount a son received new one was lesser than this one so that is not negative one in the total answer it gives us plus or positive answer so here i will substitute it 1 over 5 that means this one here 6 1 over 6 that means this one so i multiply this by 6 and this by 5 and 1 into 5 and 1 into 6 so this gives us 1 over 30 that means the difference was 1 over 30 so 1 over 30 represents what 40,000 no here they have told that son received was 40,000 rupees less than the amount he was to receive originally that is the difference of two amounts not the not an exact amount so we can say 1 e equals what 40,000 into 30 equals the total sum of money he had initially so it will receive this much of money 1.2 million so this is the amount originally he had before he distributed to anybody so I think students you have understood this question very carefully and you have uh, it was in your question paper 
so this kind of question can be a question of good 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 condition so just try to do it by yourself and then again and again see or watch this video and just try to this so uh, the please consider or understand the points what i am saying here not, ju not just copy this one and writing is not okay you have to understand facts very carefully so okay thank you for watching okay students uh, thank you for watching my video so another day we will meet with another question of 2018 paper so thank you very much for being with me so let's see on another video with a good question so be ready and be happy and study well so goodbye students